Yo, what's up guys? It's Call Me Zo, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over the new patch that just happened where a couple things were nerfed and a little bit of things were buffed. Mostly things that are nerfed that were main weapons that were being used. So I'm going to be going over everything that was nerfed and everything that was buffed. So we're going to first start off with the one of the most concerning debuffs or nerfs, whatever you want to call it is the SG-225 Breaker. Now, in this nerf, the magazine capacity was nerfed from 16 to 13, so you have three lesser bullets, and they increased the recoil from 30 to 55. Not a big change, but definitely the recoil is a little bit noticeable. I'm going to show you guys AB4 and after the nerf. So yeah, that was the SG-225 Breaker. Not a big difference in the gameplay. Definitely a little bit of noticeable extra recoil. And you're also having less magazine, less bullets in your magazine. So yeah, not that big of a difference. All right, now we're going to be moving on to the offensive stratagem that was nerfed that everybody used. And that is the Railgun. Yes, the railgun was nerfed. So basically a short term, they made it so the armor penetration in safe mode is way lesser than what it was because normally you'd be able to destroy almost everything while still being in safe mode. They also decreased damage against durable enemy parts, which means, let's say you're shooting a charger in the head. It's not going to be doing as much as it was and i have a before and after of what they did to the railgun they also made the railgun bullets ricochet a lot more if you're not holding down the shooting button while in unsafe mode Now, as you can see, the railgun is a lot more worse, and it takes a little bit more time to use and kill enemies with. Um, the next thing that was nerfed is that a lot of people also used is the shield generator pack. Now, they increased the delay before recharging. So basically, once your shield is broken, there is a delay before it will recharge. So it takes a little bit longer to get the shield back after it's been broken. I will show you. A before and after.
So yeah, now the generator pack takes longer to recharge, so it is going to be a bit, a little bit longer than what it was before, and yeah, that can make a big difference, so it's still a really good strat gem, and I will still be using it, it's just going to be taking longer to recharge. Now we have a buffer stratagem, and that is the Orbital 380mm barrage. So they increase the duration of the bombardment. So basically, it lasts way longer, but they and they also decrease the spread. So it's more in one area than spreading everywhere, which still it's pretty damn good. And I'm gonna show you guys how long it lasts, and it's really long and OP. So now we're going to be moving on to the fixes and we're only going to be talking about the main fix. The rest of the fixes will be on screen after this. So the main fix that they did do and that is the armor rating values not reducing damage as intended. So basically people who are using the light armor build because it had the same armor rating as medium. They have now fixed that so the light armor has the armor it is intended to have that is displayed underneath of it. So, no more cheesing the game. They have now fixed that. Now, the rest of the patches are on screen now. You can go ahead and read them yourself. But that is it for the video. I hope you guys did like the video. Like and subscribe. This did take me time to make.